put the recording back on. Welcome back. We got a lot of We're going to get that work out. Hi there. You guys are all there, right? Okay. So let me see. That's another goal. Get more done. <laughs> Grab a sandwich if you like. So, um, you know, being on the assembly and knowing people, you always have issues of, is this right? And so I have three areas to bring up, and it might be that I need to ask for formal opinion, but I'm not ready to yet. You know, I've just been kind of having a conversation about issues. And, and but Chris, uh, this is on the record at this point. And Sometimes people want a confidential opinions. Um, but then I think you'd have to file an opinion. I, I'm not afraid. Okay. I'm not okay. afraid of these things. It's just I, I feel like I have a pretty good up standard. So I don't mind. Okay. Um, first thing is um, mm -hmm. I do real estate. And real estate's an interesting business because you connect with people and pretty intimately. And um, one time already it's happened where I helped a municipal employee buy a house. And so, not an appointee, but someone who's a representative employee in the um, kind of workforce. And being on the assembly, of course, it, there are some considerations of is this ethical and right. But it is my business, and it's how I make a living. And uh, so then recently, I have another client who is a municipal employee who's, um, again, represented, not an appointee. I wouldn't take an appointee, because that's just too close as a, as a client. But... <coughs> Um, and then we made an offer on the place, and it turned out that the person we made the offer for was also a municipal employee, and it was so weird. It's like, I just need to come talk to you guys and kind of have a conversation about this. So that's one issue. Um, well, do we want a quick look at that issue, or do you want to tell us about all three? We can go one at a time. Are the other two more pressing? Or are any of them there's fine nothing pressing? pressing. No, okay. there's nothing. Other than that one, I do have a client that I'm working with now who is a municipal employee. <coughs> and and can, do you mind if I ask a few questions, mm -hmm. the board? Uh, do you have any other uh, ties to this employee? In other words, uh, uh, any issues coming before the assembly, no. any commissions, boards, no. committees, anything? This person is low enough in the tier of the system that... Um, you know, in one way, it's a parks employee, and there is a park mm -hmm. project in my neighborhood that's going on. It's already funded, and um, but I'm is not he involved. part of the administration or management of that parks issue? Is he is he taking a leading role in that issue? Yeah, they're the person that the parks um, superintendent has assigned to that park project. Okay, but it's already funded. There's no questions coming before the assembly about it. It's simply an administrative action. So what's the project? It's the Fairview Park fix it that's been going Just on. Just to fix it? Well, they're doing like a block party, they've planted trees, it's kind of an ongoing, they've done some master planning. So but you're not having to take an, ad or he's not taking an advocacy role, it's just part of his job, you're yeah. not. And I'm not advocating on behalf of it, it's the community that it is. I mean, I'm a broad supporter of parks issues, obviously, but that's not an issue that I am it's not in my arena of projects. It's clearly an administrative function. And, and I will represent to the board that the assembly has little or no control about the selection or retention of employees. The administration will block that. Now, of course, if it was a totally controversial, but that's a whole different world. Your average employee assemblies have no control whatsoever. And I would add that it would not be proper, I think, to do any kind of outside business work with an appointee. Right. To me, that's a line that I wouldn't... See, and I'm not sure of that, but, yeah, but we're not there, yeah. so let's just mm -hmm. stick with the easier one. Right. That's, uh, that's my personal yeah. line. Yeah. But just, you know, the assembly is not over administration and for ease. It's a, you know, your separation of powers thing. They have their own function. The administration does the employees. Uh, the administration employees. They have their own employees as well. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. That is kind of the issue. The, the, the previous one was a bus driver, right? I have no, no management in any way over anyone except the transportation director who I could call up for mm -hmm. questions or whatever. Anyone below that person, there's no... Supervisory. 
and I don't have any other questions. Mm -hmm. myself. So isn't this just a contemporary enrollment for service issue? Yeah. Well, I think that's one way to look. I mean, that that is an aspect versus sort of a conflict of interest aspect. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I, 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 I guess to me, it, he, yeah. But but just to address that issue, Lisa, I would think he can easily uh, do his own job duties at the same time he's doing real estate. Yeah, right. Assembly yeah, members are all assumed well, to have their own jobs. Just, unless know, there's a similar raise with the assembly members in the near future. Yeah. I think all <laughs> assembly members have outside jobs. Mm -hmm. they have no, yeah, no, you have to. You have to retire. Dick training does have that. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, no. From the assembly. No. Because under a conflict of interest, it would seem to me that like the general rule, public servant shall not participate in official action, which in which the public servant or member of the public servant community family has substantial financial profit interest prior prior to participation in, in official action. And the uh, public servant shall disclose financial private interest. So it, it would seem to me that unless something that was going on, let's just say with the parks, then came to your attention after having worked with this person and somehow that official action could have affected that person. It seems to be something that goes on in the future. That you would then have disclose. to uh, disclose to the assembly and say, look, I've worked with this person or I've worked with somebody as a part of this division or whatever. And then you go through a conflict of interest. Yeah, and uh, I'm very going clear forward. Yeah, always. Mm -hmm. I mean I've more than anyone yeah. declared these conflicts right. since I've been Potential. <coughs> that, that's my first blush read of this. And then this seems substantial. I mean, it's no, just that's, that's one right. client of your. I mean, I mean I'm assuming. Can, yeah, but I'm assuming, like, how many clients do you represent in a year? 15, 20. Yeah, so yeah. This, this yeah. seems like it's a small amount of your income anyway. Yeah. Right. You know, and it's, but again, it's worth having. Like, when yeah. I do yeah. these transactions on the real estate side, there's also a code of ethics, mm -hmm. and there's a yeah. specific form for declaring a potential conflict. Right. Right? in these cases also file that with the transaction mm -hmm. so that everybody is well aware on that side as well that right. I am on the assembly, this person is a municipal employee. Right. And in that way, the buyer, the seller, the broker, the broker, everybody knows it's how it is. Yeah. And so that is what actually informed me to come here is if I'm gonna do it on that side of the employment, I might as well be doing that here as well. Because it's just a notification that because it's the perception of conflict is equally right. as damning as an right. actual conflict. So, yeah, or it can be. Mm -hmm. I just want to be a lot more. No, go ahead. Yeah. Well, I actually, I just think David's hit the point. Like, it, it seems like this is more an issue of that if you're considering something on the assembly later on, yeah. this might be something to disclose. But then that, that seems like the remedy for it. Here it doesn't seem like there's any per se, yeah. you shouldn't be doing this. Right. And I think it would be more narrowly constructed, not any park issue, because I deal with park issues every right. day, but it would be park issues that deal with this individual somehow coming through the mix, right. which wouldn't happen because they're in such a position. In Maybe to cut the entire parks department, right? Like that's the right. level like where you'd be That would have affected. to be. Like it was a budget issue, right? Isn't that one of the no, major? No, that's too much. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's every day. I mean, dealing with homeless issues are park issues. Right? Yeah, dealing with yeah. Public safety yeah. issues are park issues. I think, and maybe I could make a disclosure one time on the record relative to this, relative to that employee, and it could be that I do that for any employee that I might yeah. serve. I don't imagine it'll be a large number over time, but it, it wouldn't be any time there's a park issue because that would be every day. I, yeah. Yeah, and that's the other reason yeah. I say because yeah. that's it is every day <coughs> that yeah. you, it would be hundreds. And I, I yeah, I, I actually thought it was what Jack was saying is if it rises to a certain level to affect yeah. it would have to be something like that. But this doesn't. What it, well, it I was think like it's his role within the parks so to me would be the more right. right. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying it has to rise rise to a certain level and it has to be something that would he would have some influence off over and that's and and taking it to his logical conclusion that would be that's such an extreme situation a scenario i could imagine would be this staff in the future picks up a park project that is going to go into a bond at some point right. 
that um, I am going to be supporting. And at that point, it would be logical to make a disclosure mm -hmm. that this is the person who's involved with this project. This is the person the park staff sent to the community council. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it's germane. I, I think that would be how I would proceed on that question if it came you know, tied directly to an action of that person. Because again, if, if it were RADA, right, I would not take it for RADA because I just do too much with them officially. You know, I just came from a meeting with him right now talking about fencing an area. And so, well, any department. Yeah, that's what I mean, but yeah. when I say rod, I just use him as a critical example. Yeah. Anyone subject to a appointment, yeah. appointment and uh, assembly confirmation, there is actually a clear delineation there. And then anyone who I have close ongoing relations with, it would be the same thing, you know, professional relations, but nonetheless. Mm -hmm. That to me seems the standard. Yeah, I think it would be kind of overkill to announce it just generally. I mean, that's going to be lost on the and, assembly. And in fact, that might be a conflict too, right? Because yeah. as a person who does real estate, my business depends on people knowing I do real estate. Right. right. And then right. Right. in front of the body, I'm saying, well, that's what I was going to say. Sweet time for you're announcing all your really <laughs> successful business. No, but I'll work so with you. Other you. Other other you. Other I don't have a conflict. I leave the game. I don't mind them hearing, but the public listening on TV, right? Right. And in fact, at my brokerage, she has a special requirement on me that you will probably appreciate to hear that because of my public role, I'm not allowed to simply advertise I do real estate. Right. Her restriction on me is you must only, if you're going to advertise, advertise specific properties, right? Mm -hmm. There's no fishing allowed mm -hmm. because of the perception of conflict that may arise, mm -hmm. looking like you're attempting to use your position to gain business. Right. And so, believe me, I have this conversation. Yes. Yeah. No, I... Do you feel like you've answered the question? Yeah, no, yeah. this is, I, just as long as you're aware, you've heard it, it's just on the record. One, one last concern would be just, uh, you know, you in your position as a uh, a real estate agent, are you able to use any information that you have that you are privy to because you're an assembly person? So I have oh, made a very this road here. Right. We don't want this house. Right. Right. And <laughs> I have made a very clear. I can only really speak to it the other way, um, which is knowledge of subdivisions that are coming, knowledge of um, public properties that are going to be dispersed into private hands, right. things of long those nature. And I have probably half a dozen times at least made that declaration up on the die and been excluded from the conversation at least three times that I can think of because my broker is involved with everything. Right. And so I don't know that it works the other way. You know, that's something I'll really have to think about. I th There are federal rules about saying, you know, you can't talk negatively about a neighborhood because of you know, fair housing issues, right. you know, and you have to be very careful. Um, and my approach to real estate is you ask them what they want, where they want to be. Right. I don't tell so them. So just be careful that, you know, that would be the only other part of the code that I could see applying would be that, you know, if you were to use information in helping your clients, information that you had uniquely gained in light of being an assembly person, that would be a violation of the code. I would say that's not likely the case in that very rarely do we meet in an environment where there is information I have that is not public. Okay, yeah. good. Right? Mm -hmm. Very rarely. We only go into executive session, I think, twice only since I've been on the body in a year. Right? And that's relating to legal issues, actions, lawsuits, etc. Once was the transaction with NLP. You know, I would offer that any deliberation that we have that's public is therefore public information. Mm -hmm. And an example of what I have done, I had a neighbor who was contemplating buying in Fairview. I have lots of history in the neighborhood. And I directed them to the Fairview neighborhood plan. It's a book. This is what you're talking about is exactly what's written in the book, right? Some would say that's specialized knowledge. And it is because I've spent a thousand hours contemplating it, but it's all public knowledge, right? right. right. It's not anything I gained by you're uniquely because right i'm not in the administration who does in fact hear confidential items in a different way than i do right they have more privilege to those kinds of things everything i hear is ad nauseum available to the public <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's an incredible high bar no, no, no mm -hmm. meetings of what, more than three people no you know so i would say could be but probably not okay
Well, I remember, I mean, like, and I don't think that would preclude you from being a real estate agent. It'd just be like, if that ever does happen, just be aware that that is a code provision that you not utilize that right. information or share that information. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. The, the threat to me is the threat of recall. You know, under, I divulged something that was given to me in an executive session. Like, they're really clear about the rules, and I'm like, okay, I get that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Those okay, what's your, what's your next? Uh, so this one's more interesting, but I think I figured out a workaround, but I would love your opinion on it. And, you know, I am a, an advocate for the marijuana industry. I support their growth in our community. Um, and I've been very clear not to be involved in the business because I don't want to be excluded. But there is a product that I'm contemplating manufacturing, which isn't a regulated item. It's with a CBD product, but it may be sold through some of those entities. But I think that what I figured out is there is one company that distributes to these individuals products that aren't manufactured with controlled substances. And so it's like Southside Green Gardens or something. They sell light bulbs, they sell fertilizers, they sell mm-hmm. etc. And so I don't want to mention the product per se, but it's like a soap product that um, I would like to see sold mostly in the lower 48, but I have to make the product here. But I don't want to threaten my ability to advocate for these businesses. And so I've determined that I won't sell directly to them. And so that question might have been made moot. Right? I mean, if, what do you think? Is it a problem selling to a distributor that I regulate the that you are approve or disapprove their permit. Right. It seems pretty attenuated. It's one step removed at least. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is under your prior plan, you're saying, um, or are you saying under your current plan not to sell directly? Yeah, well, the, there's no concrete plan. There has been zero mm-hmm. investment. Mm-hmm. We have spent time contemplating. <coughs> we know the product will work. Um, it will sell. And so, but we're being very thoughtful about how we implement it, so I don't want to follow any problems. So, uh, there is no previous plan, but what previously we discussed was selling to the licensees because they can sell this product without it going through the regulatory scheme. It's legal without regulation. But then the contemplation D and I had of how that, that's kind of hard to get around. If I actually have the business interest to these licensees, then it, it is kind of a conflict or a very clearly a conflict depending on how you look at it. And so then the thought is, well, what if we just sell to the one entity that sells light bulbs and shovels and dirt to these people? That you don't have licensing approval of them. Over, No, they're just a public open door accommodation. Anyone can walk into it's a greenhouse, basically. It's a garden supply store. Yeah. yeah. I don't see why there's yeah. any issue with that. Yeah, that right. Yeah. No, that was the yeah. And yeah. thinking about how do I resolve this problem, that's where yeah. we came to. Like it's not subject to the regular. Yeah. regulatory structure, right? Then it's totally fine. Yeah. Okay, then there was a third issue I had on my notes, but the notes are in the car. Um. <laughs> I mentioned it today. And it was real estate related. It's about a specific client? No, it's more general questions about how I do this business mm-hmm. and not get in trouble. I mean, attorneys make law, so I know that you can mm-hmm. sell real estate and work on land use issues. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but. I think that's probably it for now. Okay, that's probably okay. enough. Mm-hmm. I have the notes in the car. Okay. Well, thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thank us. you yeah. guys. And yeah. Good um, discussion. Yeah, yeah, we enjoy interesting cases. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and it's important to get it on the record so that if the question ever arises, I can mm-hmm. step back yeah. and see. We've already talked about this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, well, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. On to my next meeting. Appreciate it. Okay. Very good. Um, so now we're going to kick you out again. Is that do we have any other questions? Do we have any? Like What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I did. Stole your code. You did it? <laughs> it just landed on the desk. <laughs> so why would. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think quickly. Steve think Steve quickly. Steve <laughs> Steve <laughs> Steve <laughs> Steve <laughs> I don't know. Well, one. No, I mean, well, well for starters, <laughs> the code, you only get the claim stuff if you show it up remotely on time, right? So if you're just going to, like, blow the meeting this off and then be like, hey, you know, my car had a flat tire. Like, oh, yeah, I haven't heard that from my students right. before, right? Um, That's where I got it. Should we, should is there we, anything else that we that we can do? Yeah. We wanted, oh, one last yeah. thing, you know, one last thing. I think we wanted to... Um, 
the while we were all on the record and everything, thank Lisa, right? Yes. For yeah. all the work she did coming back, and I know that you actually oh. listened to the tapes of the meetings that you were not here for, and that was I, so that's hours and hours yeah, of dribble. Yeah, that's a lot. Of <laughs> uh, <and> so, <laughs> oh, robust robust debate. Yeah, robust <laughs> dribble. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> but but even, but even we cannot remember. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what did we say? So uh, that is you go, again above yeah. and beyond robust, the call yeah. of duty. So you're thank welcome. You, you're really welcome. Appreciate. It is great. It is yeah. great to have you back. <laughs> <laughs> Not that your underlings didn't do a bang up job, they did a great job. It was my underlings. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely lost. Just jabbing randomly at the recorder. This, this idea the record, of moving right? it yeah. from your yeah. office to my office yeah. proved not, <laughs> not workable. Yeah, so thank you, Lisa. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome back. You're welcome. Okay, uh, and, and everyone, don't forget your goals. Um, to show up on time. I've got, got oh, you know, I've got start meeting on time. That's <laughs> <laughs> when you walked out. <laughs> Issues of time limit. Get Marsha to show up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two and three. Of where? Oh, oh do we have more? Where? That's not where. Oh, oh two. Uh, we about sort of oh, yeah. No, the, the, I think there are both things that he, guy. yeah, he oh, and Terry yeah. were working oh, on yeah. that yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Like they just neglected their duties exactly. And so we're actually going to push those off in a few I assume, right, Lisa? Yeah. Right. Okay. And Lisa's going to send us, Terry and I, the parts of the hearing. The hearing. And yeah. the, not and hearing, recording. but the meeting. Yeah. So, so we have to refresh our memories. Yeah, no, I'll consult with okay. Steve and then I'll get you guys some. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and uh, so geez, and I was going to say, we better do the, the educational PowerPoint stuff. All the stuff I was going to do during the summer, and summer's yeah. almost over, right? I'm like, oh man, that's <laughs> okay. Okay, so. Take that uh, thing with you, Terry. That clip. Well, Marsha just yelled at me for no. taking <laughs> <laughs> You must have taken yours home and not brought it back. I did, that's exactly what happened. This one. I'm glad it has a name oh, on it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, There's exactly. no confusion about who has it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. 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 All right, very good. I you're going to come back and get crossed out. That's the thing. I can't believe the name was on because I was just going to deny that it was on. <laughs> so, no, of course not. <laughs> that was on the name. Those are my middle names. Those are my middle names. Okay, um, so do we have a motion to move? Well, I guess we should probably just yeah. take off. Huh? Mm -hmm. Ted, I'm going to yeah. leave it to you. Okay. Crack the whip. Don't, yeah. let them, don't let them engage on the compromise. Maybe we'll only apply half the code. That's <laughs> <nice>. <laughs> No, I hold you guys in the highest respect. Mm. Let's get out of here, Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> I need a drink. Go enjoy my summer break. Wow. It's a rough crowd. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no respect. <laughs> Oh, how do we want for people tonight? Okay, but we need to be better. I'm going to show up in a beer or something like that. But I hurt my back again the last time we played. I was like, that's it, no more softball. Oh, I thought it was a card game. I'm like, you hurt your back. Oh, funny cards. So we only have 15 minutes, but. I'm going to take a session. Second. No objection.